G'day, it's Rob here again. Well, recently I did a review of these Cobalt uh, Jobber Drills. It's a set I got from Banggood. And they are fantastic, really good. I already had a, a set of Banggood High Speed Steel uh, Jobber Drills. And uh, these are 5% Cobalt. And if you're careful with them, you know, use them in a drill press, uh, or in a lathe, they're fantastic uh, because you can go through really hard stuff with them. Where people go wrong with cobalt drills is they try and use them freehand in a handheld drill and that can be a recipe for disaster, particularly in the smaller sizes because they break. They're more, they're more brittle than a high-speed steel drill. So these are 5%. Now if you go to 8%, it even gets worse. So, the name of the game is, uh, yeah, treat them with respect. Now, I was pretty impressed with these, very impressed, in fact. And often when you're going to drill a hole, you have to mark out in the job where you want the drill position to be. So, in that case, you use a thing called a spot drill. And there was also some discussion on spot drills and centre drills, the difference uh, in another video I did where I showed how you can repurpose uh, high-speed steel centre drills and make them spot drills. Now the whole thing is though that most spot drills you buy are high-speed high steel. And here's, some that, uh, here's one that I've got. This is a proper spot drill. It's a double-ended one. They come in various sizes. Now these drills will drill much harder stuff than this will. These are pretty good, but if you're going to work on hard stuff, yeah, some hard spot drills would be a good way to go. And I thought, you know, I wonder if Banggood have spot drills, hard ones, cobalt ones. And I had a look, and they do. Whereas this, uh, this is a 5% uh, cobalt set, Banggood has some 8% cobalt spot drills, which would be better again. So I asked them to send me a set and we'll have a look at what we've got and what's available and give them a go. And here they are. So first off we'll put up a couple of screen grabs and you can see what this is all about and uh, after that we'll have a closer look at them. So what have we got? We've got uh, 3 to 12 mil, 120 degree tip angle right through, ooh, but not here. 90 degree tip angle. So it looks like the 12 comes with a 90 degree tip angle. Now, these are the only spot drills that Bing would sell, so it's obviously not a foul up in the, in the, um, the postal area. It's what they've actually got, so yep. You're going to get a 90 if you go for this particular size. Spot drills can be any any angle, any tip angle you want to use, but the general rule is that they should be the same angle or greater than the the tip angle of the jobber drill you're going to use. You could use one of these 135s with a 90, but going into a a smaller angle, you got Possibly you could ship the flutes because the angle's too tight. It may not happen, but that it's a possibility. So always go the same size or very close if you can or make it a bigger angle if you're going to use spot drills. So okay, let's take a couple out there packets and I'll compare them to my existing spot drills and see how they shape up. Now my existing spot drills are 130 degree tip angle as you can see and the uh, the Banggood ones are 120 or supposed to be 120 so we'll, we'll just see I'm doing both of these measurements in the 8mm size 
and you can see it's less than 130. I'll adjust the uh, protractor and we'll see what it really is. And good drills are in fact 120 degrees so let's measure that uh, 90 degree one and see if it is in fact 90. So yes the largest one of the 12 mil is in fact a 90 degree tip as the packet says all the rest are correct so uh, yeah we're moving close and have a look at the uh, the finish on them and the, and the tip and here they are all fanned out so you can see the tip ang angles on them and uh, yeah it's only the one that's different the finish looks fantastic the grind looks terrific they've got this coating on them which well it's titanium but whether it does anything who knows the drills being 8% cobalt I think I don't think it's going to make a lot of difference <laughs> to them anyway so yeah I'll spin it around and we can look at the tips to see the uh, the grind from the side so there you go they're really beautifully ground razor sharp no blemishes at all they're equally as good as the finish on my cobalt jobber drill set and in fact I think they're probably the same manufacturer I'll take one of these out and I'll put in a a jobber drill we can see how they compare so there's one of my cobalt jobber drills and you can see the, the finish is comparable pretty good all right so the best thing to do now is try them out I suppose see how they perform okay here's the 90 degree tip in 12 mil see how that goes 143 rpm Our lathe's under a fair bit of duress here. This is hard going. Spring steel, lathe in bottom gear. Doing some belt slippage. And the belts are tight, so it's yeah, it's really grunting. Yeah, the grind on the tip looks pretty even. That's good. Okay, so that's 90 degrees. Now we'll come in on that with a 120 uh, jobber drill and see how it goes. This isn't what you normally do. Normally you'd, you'd use a 120. Uh, sorry, I'm going to use a 135 jobber drill. Normally you'd, you'd use a 120 spot drill. So, all right. So now we're coming into our 90 degree spot drill hole using a 135 degree jobber drill I normally wouldn't do this normally you'd go for the 120 spot drill but anyway we'll just see how this goes and uh, give you a demo see what's happening it's working but you're putting a lot of pressure on the middle of the flute also you've got more chance of getting wander and there was a tiny bit of wander there because the uh, of the shape of the uh, the edge of the of the spot drill hole so it's not a good idea so we won't go any further with that so that's a good demonstration of why the angle of the spot drill should be close to the angle of the jobber drill and obviously 90 degrees is a long way off of 135 jobber drill.
So this is not suitable. But a 120 spot drill is a, a lot is a lot closer to a 135 drill. So that that will do the job. Now when you use these also only go in with the spot drill to the edge of the flute to the that point there. The same as you do with a, a center drill for exactly the same reason so that the the, uh, the job drill will more closely match the profile of the of the taper. If you're going any deeper you're going to put a sharp edge on the hole and it's once again it's going to um, risk chipping your your job drill. Okay let's move on a bit more. Okay, let's try the 120 degree spot drill in 10 mil, and after that we'll follow up with the 135 job drill in 12 mil. So that's basically how you would do it, as close as possible. Spring steel once again. Pretty hard stuff. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's see how that goes. Now, once again, this hasn't been faced off or anything. This is just rough finish, and. Uh, I didn't even use a test indicator to try and get it level, I just used the tail stop, push against it. So there we go. see what it's like it's not easy there's a little bit of movement there and that's from the uneven surface of the of the metal it's pushing it around a little bit the irregularities let's try and drill straight in with the with the 12 mil and uh, job drill to see how much movement we get when we do that I think you'll find that the spot drill makes a difference. You can see the difference? Way worse. That's a good way to break your drills. So that's why you want to use spot drills. Yeah, overall I think they're pretty good value. Not bad at all. We're certainly uh, up to the task and the grind seems pretty good on it. Not, not perfect, but pretty good. Quite, quite uh, good enough, I think. So there you have it. 
I think overall they're a pretty good set of spot drills. And uh, I mean, I didn't test every one, but you can see the quality is consistent right throughout. There's uh, no point going any further. As a, a complement to your existing drill, you know, jobber drills, whether they're uh, cobalt or just high speed steel, these will certainly stop drill tip wander and walking and potentially breaking your valuable drills. So yeah, they were worth having whether you buy the whole set or just get a couple or just one even. If you use correctly, you could get by with just one and I think a six mil would be a good a good intermediate all round. It can do big and small. Use carefully and properly. So that's it. I uh, can't say any more, show you any more. The link to the product is in the video description, so the best thing is click on it, wander over and have a bit of a look and see what you think and yeah. They're the only spot drills that Bangor appear to have at the moment. And at, at least they are made of the right stuff. They are up to the task, as you saw. So that's it from me. I hope you found it interesting. I've got a few uh, ideas out of it. We'll see you next time. Cheers.